I think I'm going to call this the month of the single grain releases and possibly even limited editions. I haven't decided yet. And for those that are fans of the spirit category, the single grain, I have a whopper of a release fresh out of the distillery and landed here just this morning. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey & Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Chrissy's Bar Kilkenny. I hope you are kicking ass and taking numbers this week. Exclusive, rare, aged, single grain spirit. Are you excited? You goddamn should be. The rumor mill was indeed rife a few weeks ago with words of another aged single grain hitting the market. And single grain whiskey lovers rejoice. The single grain category is growing and multiplying beautifully. And just wait until you hear what this is finished in. I'm excited to try, haven't had it yet. Just saying, fine goddammit, I'll tell you what it is. This is the newest distillery exclusive from Teeling Whiskey Company, a 13 year old single grain Irish whiskey finished in, drum roll please, boom, Bordeaux red wine casks. A little bit of a confession here before we move forward. I am 100% a Teeling Whiskey fanboy. I love the majority of what they do bring to the market. Was a huge fan at the time of their small batch release. And I love that they actually experiment with so many casks and styles of whiskey that when I see new releases coming, I obviously get a little excited and I can't wait to try it. I think in terms of innovation, they are a very forward moving distillery and they aren't afraid to try new things, obviously. There have been so many whiskies I've missed out on from them that are uh, sadly distillery only exclusives or they've simply sold out before I got a chance to purchase them. So when I did see this in an online shop based out of Dublin, I had to move fast and I did. And well, yeah, here it is. Well, this isn't my bottle. This is the, the post bottle, but I did actually purchase a bottle for share between a group of friends that I have. So naturally, um, this is gonna be my very unbiased review or like not, not re a review. You know how I do, I don't like to call these reviews. More of a tasting. A little while ago, I watched a video of the two lads from Whiskey Tribe who did a distillery visit to Teeling and met with head distiller, Alex Chasco. Um, obviously an American expat getting on with two American whiskey distillers. You know, they're the lad, Alex has a pretty serious resume that has brought him from his home in Portland, Oregon um, to Scotland and finally, obviously Ireland. And in that video, he laid it down at the time. Now, considering the video was shot pre-COVID in 2019 when you could do all this visiting stuff, he stated that at the time they were experimenting with over a hundred different cast types. That was two years ago. There could be more now. A hundred different cast types, mother of God. So yeah, about that innovativeness I was talking about. This is one of the reasons why I love what Teeling do. And previous to that, Alex worked as the innovations manager in Cooley Distillery in County Louth. And from my last Teeling video on the Black Pits, you should hopefully recall who owned that. Cooley Distillery, that is. Link above. Okay, it was John Teeling. He owned it and eventually sold it. And I laid all the video out in that Black Pits video, but his son Jack and Stephen Tilling went on to open the Tilling Distillery and they began distilling in about 2014, 2015-ish, thereabouts. So when you do the mats, a 13 year old single grain from Teeling's is not originally from Teeling's as you may have guessed. However, it is technically Teeling stock if you catch my drift. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, this was laid down in Cooley Distillery 13 years ago when John T. Ling ran the ship. Got it? Good. Let's move on. And the official wording from T. Ling on this release is, Teeling Whiskey has released the latest in our award-winning single grain range with our new Teeling 13-year-old Irish single grain. The 13-year-old release consists of triple distilled Irish whiskey distilled predominantly from maize. 
initially matured for nine years in ex-bourbon barrels before being given an extra maturation for over four years in ex-Bordeaux red wine casks and bottled at 50% ABV to capture all its natural flavor. Sounds orgasmic. So this is only the second grain release from Teeling Distillery and the oldest grain they have produced. And guess what? It's not only out a wet week, but it has already won the Spirits Business Master's Award for 2021. And I'm guessing in the grain category. So I'm expecting huge things here. And again, not to sound like a broken record, but I'm not the hugest fan of grain whiskey. I always mention that when I drink grain whiskey, or I wasn't a huge fan of it, but you know, I'm starting to get on the grain whiskey bandwagon. I'm really kind of enjoying it actually. Let's get it in the glass, shall we? Now, as always, before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel while also ensuring you have the notifications bell turned on while I turn you on with amazing whiskey releases. <clears throat> Ooh. And we pour. Now again, this is a limited bottling run of how many bottles, I don't know because I wasn't told and it's actually not on the bottle. And it's uh, meant to be a distillery only exclusive. However, there were a few bottles released online through various retailers coming in at 85 euro. Now, that's not bad value. I don't know, call me crazy, but 85 euro for a 13 year old single grain in my books isn't bad considering where we are with the Irish whiskey market currently. So a 50% ABV brut, non-chill filtered. I'm unsure as to whether or not this has seen uh, the end of a coloring stick. I'm hoping not. Um, I would never judge a whiskey by its color, but this has some serious color going on in it. 95% corn and 5% malted barley is the content while spending nine years in bourbon and four years in ex Bordeaux wine casks. And we knows. You're getting age straight away. There's a lovely kind of cherry note to it. Very bright. There is wood, lovely kind of oaky notes, shavings even. There's a caramel, there's a vanilla. There's ripe fruits, red kind of fruits. Like I said, you have your cherries. You're getting a little bit of the kind of the makeup. So the corn is a little bit of the corn note coming through on it. Quite nice. Quite nice indeed. There's a tint, there's something else that's a little tingy in there and I can't make out what it is, but Mm. For a 13 year old single grain Irish whiskey, the nose on that is really, really good. Ah, uh, you get more of that cherries note now. It's given a chance to sit in the glass to air a little bit. It's so fresh, it's so fruity, but there's a nuttiness as well behind it. There's a nuttiness towards the end with the, that's tying in with the oak. Mm. That is a lovely nose on it. Let's have a little sup, just a little lunch. Mm. Lovely bit of spice. Those fruits, wow. Very sweet, very fruity, summer fruits. Those cherries bursting through. Really, wow. Really, really coming through with uh, the, 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 the nose matches the palate. Uh, not overly complex, but still, there's a nice bit of uh, layers of complex there. Honey notes, vanilla, it's very creamy. It's very, get the, the oak, tying in with the spice, quite nice. I like that. Finish, you get your spicy, the mouth has sort of dried out a little bit. Those oak flavors coming through again. Um, that is very morsome. One more sip, Slalancha. Lovely, that's gorgeous. Again, summer fruits, your berries and cher berries, cherries, whatever you want to call it, that kind of ripe fruitiness to it. Hint of the nuttiness, your vanilla, your honey that you would come to expect from the 
bourbon cask. The sweetness of it is really quite interesting um, for a single grain. The finish is a little bit dry, but it lingers, um, evolving a little bit. So medium complexity, I would say, on this whiskey. Um, You get wood shavings in the glass when there's a little bit left over, kind of a, a nuttiness to it, nuttiness slash wood shavings. Wow. Well done, lads. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. A wonderful example of a single grain whiskey and indeed actual cask management. It's delicate, but it's flavorsome. Light, but creamy and simple with some, I would say, medium complexity, um, especially on the, the finish and the, or the, the, the palette, I would say. Did I mention before that I love what Teal and Dew? Um, a good bit different to any of the single grains I've had recently, more berry sweetness than the Amarone finished single grain from Fir Cullen that I did, um, which was also gorgeous. Uh, this is just an entirely different animal, completely. Uh, really, really, really good though. Um, can't wait to see what's actually coming next from Lads of the Healings, but I will be organizing a trip to the distillery in the coming months, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss any of that. I'm gonna make sure it's a big deal. Um, it's all part of the next stages of development here at uh, Whiskey Chaser HQ. And as I said, I'm just gonna clear it up. I did purchase a bottle of this myself, but the pub here wanted me to open theirs. But um, in saying that, all thoughts obviously are my own and I'm not influenced by anyone at any time ever. Full transparency. Gonna sign off for this week. Hope you liked it. If you've tried it yourself or indeed have any other single grain whiskeys you want to see me try, leave a comment below and uh, let me know which ones. <laughs> Don't tell me to do the Method of Madness ones. Uh, still trying to get some of the whiskeys people have suggested before, but they are turning out to be very, very much sold out. I'm doing my best. Time indeed for me to sign off. Uh, I've had enough talking, so I hope you enjoyed all that and I will see you all next week for another episode of Whiskey and Whiskey. Let's see what we have. Chaser out. Slauncha. I honestly don't think the boys here would miss another little drop out of the bottle.